In Business Central, we can use inventory posting groups to group items by a category and map transactions for that category to individually specified accounts, such as the inventory and WIP accounts, for example. These posting groups are used by reports in Business Central to list results. Examples of this include inventory valuation report and the post inventory cost to GL batch job, as well as many others. Setting up inventory posting groups is a little bit different to how we might set up customer and vendor posting groups, where we simply create the group and assign it. Inventory posting groups are split up into two parts, the inventory posting group itself and the inventory posting setup. So if we go first of all to the inventory posting group page, on this page we can specify the category of item that we'll be working with and intend to distinguish. Doing this enables us to link GL accounts to these groups and cover a wider range of items than assigning them directly to items. Setting up inventory posting groups is a very simple process. We can select new to create a new entry or we can simply select the next available line. And here we can populate the code with the, with the code field with an identifiable name such as retail, for example, here. And in the description, we can elaborate. However, we'll just mention that this is for retail items. And this is all we'll need to do here. Now, moving to the inventory posting setup page, we can search for it using the search for page at the top here, or we can use the setup button that's available here. Depending on which field you have selected, when selecting the setup, function at the top here, it will open the inventory posting setup pre-filtered on the code that you specified here. For now, we'll search for it manually. So on this page, we can see our list of groups that work in tandem with locations to specify and connect the combinations to their respective GL accounts. With our new inventory posting group that we've created, the next thing we should do is create a new entry in the setup for each location that we expect to be able to use with our new posting group. And then we can fill in the accounts and that should be all we need to do. So if we go into here, and we'll select our blue location for, the, for now and we'll create an entry for retail. All we need to do now is fill in these inventory accounts as we need. So for now, I'll simply populate this with the value of the line above it just to show how it's working. And that should be all that needs to be done. Once this is all done, we can simply back out of the page, commit the changes, and we can continue using Business Central with this new inventory posting group ready to go.